Here are your coffins, which you paid for, with your tax money. There are millions of them waiting for you in different states across the country. Each coffin can hold three or four people, and most of you will be crammed into one right after martial law is declared in America. Your President George Bush is an important member of the Illuminati. The master plan of this satanic group of puppets is a new world order. Their goal is to kill 90% of the world's population so they can better control the rest of us, and they will start in America. They have already built many industrial ovens inside the FEMA death camps. These ovens will be used to get rid of the dead bodies. However, even burning these ovens day and night they will not be faster than the gas killing hundreds to thousands of people at a time. So the plastic coffins will be used to store the rotting bodies. If you are wondering why all this is going to happen to America, the answer is because you have rejected God and mocked his law. Your nation proclaims faith that it does not follow, you will reap what you have sown. I have very important information that is crucial for you Americans to know. On March 17, 8, the House of Representatives held a special closed session. This was only the fourth time in 176 years that Congress has closed its doors to the public. Not only did members discuss new surveillance provisions as was the publicly stated reason for the closed door session, they also discussed 1 the imminent collapse of the U.S. economy to occur by September 2008. 2. The imminent collapse of U.S. federal government finances by February 2009. 3. The possibility of civil war inside the U.S.A. as a result of the collapse. 4. Advance roundups of insurgent U.S. citizens likely to move against the government. 5. The detention of those rounded up at Rex 84 FEMA camps constructed throughout the USA. 6. The possibility of retaliation against members of Congress for the collapses. 7. The location of safe facilities for members of Congress and their families to reside during expected massive civil unrest. 8. The necessary and unavoidable merger of the United States with Canada for its natural resources and with Mexico for its cheap labor pool. 9. The issuance of a new currency, the Amaro, for all three nations as the proposed solution to the coming economic crisis. In the span of less than four months, gasoline prices will rise 500 percent. This has already begun. The prices of both food and shelter rise over 300 percent. Unemployment levels will reach over 40 percent. The savings of millions will evaporate overnight due to currency devaluation and bank failures. Unrest it will begin in the larger cities first, then spreading out into the countryside. Strong and repressive laws are newly enacted as police and military forces spread throughout the country to counter all signs of growing rebellion. If you are an American hearing these words, you must understand this is happening now, it's not conspiracy theory. It is fact. We are in the midst of these cataclysmic human events. Let me explain to you the red, blue and yellow list. Red list. These people are the enemies of the state. They are the leaders of patriot groups, outspoken ministers, outspoken talk show hosts, community leaders, and bloggers who talk about the government. These people and their families will be dragged out of their homes in the middle of the night. They will be driven to a black unmarked helicopter waiting to fly them to FEMA detention camps to be killed immediately. This will take place approximately two weeks before martial law is enforced, shortly after the crash of the economy. Blue List These are also enemies of the state, but are followers of the Red List resistors. These people will be rounded up after martial law is in place and will be taken to the FEMA detention centers and killed. I would guess that people such as you seeing this video are on this list. Yellow list. The sheep. These are citizens who know nothing about the truth behind the government and the new world order and don't want to know. They are considered to be no threat at all and will be instructed how to behave and will most likely do whatever they are told. 
Unfortunately, there are too many of these to be effectively controlled, so many will be killed or starved. Those people on the yellow list who are not killed will be tagged with an RFID microchip 666 and released like sheep to be tracked and controlled. Wake up! We are all on a red, blue or yellow list somewhere. If you live near any FEMA facility leave before it gets worse. Prior knowledge about events soon to occur have saved millions over the past century, allowing them to flee the most dangerous areas ahead of time, and when they still could. Not everyone that can leave will leave. History has taught this lesson well, dot especially to the almost complete annihilation of all the Jewish peoples in Europe during World War II and similar camps. We are now facing the imminent dangers of collapsing economies and currencies and the subsequent dictatorial regime that will inevitably follow. These are only the beginning of the hardest questions you will ever have to ask of yourself and your family. These are also questions that have already been asked and answered by those who have faced what you are facing now. You have a rare choice before you now. First choice. Keep living your lives in denial of the overwhelming evidence staring right at you and wait for them to come and take you and your family to the camps for systematic extermination. Second choice. Pack your things and get out of America while the borders are still open. Don't go to Canada or Mexico because these countries will have the same fate as the USA. Leave the continent, and don't look back. History is repeating. What you forefathers did to the Indians, they will do now to you. America is a sinking ship. If you stay on this ship, you will go down with it, and drown. Come to Europe. They will accept you here. My personal advice, stay away from the UK. Do not believe foolishly that your government will allow this type of information to be made public much longer.